In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up and solve a fluid flow simulation of an engine manifold system entirely within the ANSYS Fluent environment. Starting in meshing mode, we'll use the fault tolerant meshing guided workflow to import a problematic CAD geometry and generate a volume mesh. Then we'll progress to solution mode where we'll set various boundary and solution parameters and analyze the results of the simulation. We'll use a geometry that consists of three inlets and an outlet. Note the small pipe here and this leak in the manifold that will need special attention later. We'll start with the fault tolerant meshing workflow, a workflow that allows you to generate volume meshes for problematic faulty CAD geometries. In the first task, we'll import a CAD geometry file in FMD format, representing the engine manifold system. This task uses a potentially large number of CAD model objects to create a more manageable number of meshing objects to be included in the simulation. For this geometry, we can create the meshing objects on a per part basis, but we can also use the custom option to demonstrate its use in isolating various portions of the CAD model. Once loaded, the CAD model is represented in the left-hand CAD model tree. By default, these items are selected in the tree with checkboxes and as such are displayed in the graphics window. In the CAD model tree, select the parts of the CAD assembly and drag and drop them into the meshing model tree. Checking the meshing model node selects all child objects and displays them in the graphics window. Selecting the top node, we can use advanced object settings, creating one zone per part, applying our settings to all child objects in the tree, and then create meshing objects. Next we'll describe the flow as internal, and in the advanced options, indicate that we'll require feature extraction. In this task, we'll identify the three individual velocity inlets and the singular pressure outlet and create individual capping surfaces for them. Next, we'll create a single extraction feature for the intersection of the small pipe with the main manifold based on intersection loops. In this task, we'll indicate the location of the fluid region using the main portion of the manifold as well as the void region outside of the geometry to be used later to detect any leaks. We'll detect leakages by answering yes when prompted. We'll specify the void region and keep the default maximum leakage size to 6.4 millimeters. We'll click the preview leakages button to see a cut plane that exposes the geometry's interior. We'll change the plane's orientation and see that there's no leakages greater than 6.4 millimeters detected from the inside fluid volume to the outer void region. Next, we can see a tabulated overview of our currently defined regions. We're only interested in generating a volume mesh for the fluid region and we'll apply a tetrahedral mesh to it. In this task, we'll keep the default settings for controlling the mesh. This will automatically define separate tasks for setting up size controls and boundary layers. When generating the surface mesh, we'll indicate that we want to separate the final surface mesh into separate zones. We'll decrease the number of boundary layers to two and keep the rest of the default settings. Finally, we'll keep the default settings for generating the volume mesh. The volume mesh is generated in a matter of minutes, and a clipping plane is provided so that you can view the details of the interior mesh cells. We'll check the mesh and switch to solution mode where we'll proceed to set up and solve basic flow simulation throughout the manifold. I'll set the units for the length scale to millimeters. I'll keep the default solver settings, and I'll enable the K-Epsilon Turbulence model. I'll keep the default material settings and the default cell zone conditions. I need to set some boundary conditions. In this case, we'll just apply a velocity of 1 meters per second to each inlet with default turbulence settings. Finally, we'll define a pressure outlet and allow for any potential flow recirculation during the calculation. We'll retain the default solution settings and initialize the flow field using hybrid initialization, which gives an initial guess of the solution. Now we can start the calculation. We'll run the simulation for 100 iterations. Now I can look at the results of the simulation. 
Here I have set up some path lines originating from the inlets to visualize the flow field. Here I've defined a contour of velocity along a cut plane midway through the geometry. Finally, I've created a scene where I can visualize the velocity contours in addition to the rest of the geometry's mesh. This concludes this demonstration of setting up and solving a complete end-to-end -end fluid flow problem using ANSYS Fluent and the fault-tolerant meshing workflow. Thanks for watching.